EOR, I cut through tissue to remove tumors. Out here, I cut steel. I work as a surgeon by day, but when the scrubs come off, I become the steel surgeon. Today, I'm gonna test something so surgically accurate that even my scrub nurse is gonna be proud of me. Today, we are testing the 95 cent drill bit from a cheap store against a $3.40 monster drill bit from Bosch. 20 holes, no oil, just heat, pressure, data, and my own money. Let's go. And this is how the test is being done. The drill bits are 5 16th of an inch or eight millimeters. Steel plate is three eighths of an inch. I'm timing every single hole. The same RPM is used. I'm using thousand RPM. This is on the higher end. And for pressure, I'm using consistent 33 pounds or 15 kilos of downward pressure. This is how the cheap drill bit looks like in mint condition. 118 degrees angle. Uh, not much more to say. Uh, you can see it is uh, grounded a bit differently. Uh, the angle is also a bit different from the previous one. This is cobalt. It should be able to withstand a lot more force. After the first five holes, you can see some damage on the edge. Uh, there is some chipping, but nothing major. This would be after five holes. Uh, it looks pretty good. You can see some thermal coloration on the tip, but otherwise it still looks good. And it is amazingly fast. This is what we get after 10 holes. You can see that it is chipped and the, uh, there is some uh, damage. You can see the chips coming are much less uh, harmonized. Uh, I honestly feel it is more blunt than it actually looks because it, it doesn't bite as it did in the beginning. Drill time is still good, but uh, there is a, a difference. Tip is still holding up. Very, very good. Uh, thermal uh, coloration on the tip has not exaggerated too much. Overall, very, very good. After 15 holes, it is a bit harder to push into the material. We see some increased chipping. Uh, there is damage, especially on the peripheral points of the drill bit. Still holding up really good. Can't see too much deterioration, to be honest. Looks like not much has changed. To be honest, it is holding up better than I thought it is. Uh, it's uh, 20 holes. This is a real stress test and uh, honestly, well, um, Kudos, uh, hats off, uh, I gotta say, it's uh, for this price, it, um, it held up pretty good for 20 holes. Uh, I mean, of course, it is dulling uh, a lot. Uh, it feels more dull in the hand when you push the drill press. You can see the chips are different colored. Uh, there is higher friction uh, to get out the chips, which causes a blue discoloration of some of the chips. Uh, you don't get the spiral nice looking ones. But I mean, still, it, it is cutting at a decent speed for sure. Cobalt bit looks good. It's not that damaged. I mean, the times are really holding up. Very, very good. I am actually impressed. So let's check the raw data. Just pause the screen if you want to see something for a longer time. Well, the first five holes went really fast. And then there was a performance dive between six and 10, as you can see. Uh, I thought it was like a brand new scalpel. In the beginning, it's really sharp and it kind of loses the edge pretty fast. But then the performance came back on the cheap drill bit and it kind of increased. I thought perhaps it was a surgical error, but uh, I did the same test on the more expensive drill bit and it's the same result. There is a performance dip in the sixth to the tenth hole and then both started drilling faster again. Since it happened in both drill bits, I would say not because of the pressure itself, uh, probably what happened was that the steel got a bit warmer and that made it easier to cut. Uh, but still, I mean, if you compare the first and the last holes drill, times are really, really similar and it shows that there is no real performance issue. I was expecting the cheap drill bit to be like a single use scalpel, but actually it held up a, a lot better. What I can't really put on data 
uh, was that in my hand I could feel that the drill bit was getting a bit more dull. I had to use more pressure. The chips coming out were not as beautiful. They didn't look as they should with a sharp drill bit. Uh, so you have to trust me on that one. Uh, but it did get a bit dull. Uh, on the other hand, the first and the last uh, few holes uh, had very similar drill times and uh, it held up a lot better than I thought. Now the expensive drill bit, the Cobalt Bosch drill bit, uh, held up really good. It did cut through really good. I did not feel any difference in the hand when I applied the pressure. The edge kind of held up a lot better, just on magnifying glass. And that's basically what I expected from the expensive drill bit. Uh, so the expensive drill bit held up its end of the bargain. The cheap one more than held up its end of the bargain, to be honest. As a surgeon, sharp tools aren't really optional. I mean, they're the difference between clean and catastrophic. Same logic applies here. I mean, I don't buy expensive tools just to be fancy. I buy what really works. And in this test, well, sharper, longer lasting, for sure, the Bosch. But then again, the cheap drill bit really held up very good. I mean, 20 holes didn't lose any drilling time. I mean, okay, it did feel a bit duller when I pushed the drill bit into the metal, but if you're drilling 20 holes, that's more than enough. If you want something that lasts longer, if you need to drill faster, then the expensive drill bit for sure is better. However, there is also a third option. If you are able to sharpen your drill bits at home, I have a great video about that, I'll put a link in the description, then you can just buy the cheap one and as soon as it gets dull, you resharpen it in basically no time and you just keep on drilling. And that way you'll probably have a drill bit that lasts 500, 1000 holes maybe. And that's what the data says, so the decision is up to you. Final diagnosis report, perforation density critically high, tissue trauma uniform, foreign bodies minimal bursts, Recovery plan, none. Final diagnosis, Swiss cheese. Next time we'll test if cutting oil really works or if it's just snake oil. Make sure to subscribe for more.